This is Coach Schumann here breaking down the top 10 players in the West Coast region for the class of 2012. Coming in at number 10 is Ellis McCarthy, a defensive tackle, a giant that's 6'5", 311 pounds from Monrovia High School in California. Top offers include Florida, Oklahoma, and UCLA. Incredible speed at 4.9 to 40 yard dash, demands a double team at all times. A lot of people are comparing him to the Lions defensive tackle, Ndamukong Sue. Posted 69 tackles, 14 sacks as a junior. Standout defensive tackle, going to be a terror at the next level at number 10, Ellis McCarthy. McCarthy. At number nine, an offensive tackle from Crespi High School in California, Jordan Simmons. A USC commit at six foot five, 333 pounds. He's a big monster with incredible size, playing that left tackle position. Great frame, a 3.5 GPA, and a fantastic motor and mean streak in his blocking, both in run blocking and pass protection. At number nine, Jordan Simmons from Crespi High School, offensive tackle. At number eight, once again, another offensive tackle in our countdown on the West. Offensive lineman and defensive lineman dominate our top ten group from San Clemente High School. His top offers include Florida, Oregon, and USC. That's Kyle Murphy at number eight. At 6'7", 275 pounds, a 5.140 yard dash, 340 pound bench, and a 30 inch vertical. A fantastic athlete at the offensive tackle position. Somebody that has great long arms, able to get the defensive ends away from him. Somebody that could also run block. He has great feet, very quick feet in a run game. Kyle Murphy's our number eight player, offensive tackle. At number seven is a guy that can play on both sides of the ball, but we have him listed as a defensive end. Eric Armistead, a standout from our NUC events in his freshman and sophomore year from Pleasant Grove High School in California. He got 24 offers, topped by California, Texas, USC, you name him. His brother currently plays at USC. At 6'8", 280 pounds, incredible size, 5'1", 40 yard dash, 4'9", shell, 30 inch vertical, freakish athlete, great speed and athleticism. A lot of people compare him current Raiders standout Richard Seymour. He's a guy that could be a, a fantastic player at the next level. Could also be a potential pro either on offense or defense at number seven, Arik Armistead. At number six, one of our two quarterbacks in the countdown is Tanner Magnum, quarterback from Idaho. A BYU commit at 6'3", 195 pounds, got a 4'8", 6'40", 4'11", shuttle. Fantastic quick change of direction as an athlete. Great decision maker in a passing game. Fantastic scrambler, can run or throw. A lot of people are comparing him to the Falcons' Matt Ryan with his ability to move in and out of the pocket as well as to put the ball with the accuracy that he has. He's a BYU commit at number six, Tanner Magnum at quarterback position. At number five is also a quarterback. Guy that's been through our National Underclassmen Combine events as a standout from San Ramon Valley. A lot of great quarterbacks have come out of that region in California. Zach Klein. He's a Cal commit at 6'2", 210, 4'9", 4'7", shuttle. Passed for 36 touchdowns and over 3,500 yards in 2011. Pro-style quarterback with great feet in the pocket. Very much like Peyton Manning or Tom Brady from a footwork standpoint. A guy that has great delivery and accuracy. He's our number five player in the West Coast region that Zach Klein. A giant safety comes in as our number four player in the West Coast region, that's Shaq Thompson. A safety from Grant, California. He's got 12 offers, including USC and Oregon. A ball hawk, physical presence, great change of direction and breaking on the football. Excellent size, a 4-5 and change, 44-2 shuttle, which is outstanding for a guy 210 pounds. That's big enough to play linebacker as well as the safety position that he plays. 30-inch vertical and a guy that's known around the country as being not just a great football player, but a tremendous leader. Takes charge with defense, can make the defensive calls, and he's a guy that's going to be a standout at the next level. Number four, that's Shaq Thompson. Again, along the lines of the, the great offensive and defensive linemen in this West Coast group, a guy from all the way in the state of Washington, offensive tackle Joshua Garnett. He's got 15 offers highlighted by Michigan and Notre Dame, among others, including both Washington's and USC at 6'5", 295. He's an excellent pass protector, mean streak, smart players, a guy that can go anywhere in the country as an offensive tackle, big, strong, physical, and fast. He's a guy who finishes people off. That's why he's our number three player in the West Coast region that's Joshua Garnett. 
At number two is a fierce defensive tackle from California, Aziz Shitu, with 27 offers, including USC and Auburn leading the way. This guy's got offers from coast to coast, from the west to the east at 6'3", 275. He runs a 5'1 and change, 40 at 3.8 GPA. Outstanding athlete, outstanding competitor, great pass rusher up the middle. He can come off the edge, he can come at the defensive tackle, three technique position. A freakish athlete with great size and great speed. He commands a double team on the run, does a fantastic job job of splitting that double team and making plays on the ball all over the field. He's a guy that gets a ton of tackles for loss. That's why he's got 27 plus offers and he's our number two player in the country, Aziz Shitu. At number one is Andrus Pete, an offensive tackle from Corona Del Sol in Arizona. A fantastic offensive lineman. He's a guy that has over 30 plus offers. He heads up our offensive tackle group at 6'7", 305 pounds. A dual threat within the run and passing games. He's got great footwork, great extension, great on the zone block as well as the down block in the run game. Has tremendous kick slide, gets his arm extended on the defensive end, sits in the chair as an offensive tackle. A lot of people are comparing him possibly to the Ravens' great offensive tackle, Jonathan Ogden. Long arms, gigantic frame, make him very hard to beat around the edge. Never overextends himself and great fundamentals. He's our number one player in the West Coast region, which means he's also up for player of the year. That's Andrus Pete at offensive tackle.